Hello learners. So welcome you back uh, to another session. So in this session we are going to uh, see the poem The Mad written by K. Sachidananda. Uh, K. Sachidanandan is a well, very reputed poet and a critic of Kerala who writes uh, poems in both uh, Malayalam and English. So he is a great poet and critic of uh, not only uh, national repute but also he is very well known in the international scene. He was a professor of English at Christ College Irinyanakuda in Kerala. He was also uh, the editor of uh, the journal Indian Literature which was published by the Sahitya Academy. He has uh, published a number of uh, books, basically poems, criticism, plays, travelogues and uh, he has also edited several magazines. So uh, when we talk about his uh, poetry, uh, we have uh, two uh, well-known collection of poems. One is uh, Kurukshetram which was uh, published in 1970 and another one is uh, Anju Suryan. He has uh, published 32 books containing poems in 18 languages. And uh, in Malayalam, he was uh, greatly influenced by the Malayalam poets like uh, Kumaranashan, Vailopulli and Idasheri. These three are uh, three great names in uh, the field of poetry in Malayalam literature. Besides uh, writing in Malayalam, he has also translated poems and uh, we find uh, some of his uh, translations, basically translations of uh, the poems written by W.B. Yeats, W.H. Auden and uh, very strikingly, he has translated the sonnets written by Shakespeare. So uh, in this particular poem, The Mad, the poet uh, presents a binary idea. So he talks about uh, being mad and not being mad. So for this, the poet uses a number of comparisons to talk about uh, the life of a normal human being and uh, the life of a madman. And uh, we find that uh, the poem concludes by saying that the madman leads a better life than a normal human being in this world. So now I come to the poem The Mad. I read out uh, the poem for you. The mad have no caste or religion. They transcend gender, live outside ideologies. We do not deserve their innocence. Their language is not of dreams, but of another reality. Their love is moonlight. It overflows on the full moon day. Looking up, they see gods we have never heard of. They are shaking their wings when we fancy they are shrugging their shoulders. 
they hold that even flies have souls and the green god of grasshoppers leaps up on thin legs at times they see trees bleed hear lions roaring from the streets at times they watch heaven gleaming in a kitten's eyes just as we do but they alone can hear ants sing in a chorus while patting the air they are taming a cyclone over the mediterranean with their heavy tread they stop a volcano from erupting they have another measure of time our century is their second 20 seconds and they reach christ six more they are with the buddha in a single day they reach the big bang at the beginning they go on walking restless for their earth is boiling still the mad are not mad like us the mad are not mad like us so this is how the poet ends the poem so uh, this poem the mad which was written in malayalam by him if we read the malayalam poem we can find uh, the depth of meaning so let me uh, take you to the malayalam lines of uh, the poem the mad so the poem in uh, malayalam is titled prandanmar so prandanmar is an equivalent for the english word the mad now i read uh, or recite the malayalam poem prandanmar prandanmarku jaadiyo madamo illa prandigalkum nammude linga vibhajanangal avarku baadhagamalla avar pratye shastrangalkku purathaanu avarude vishuddhi naam arhikkunnilla prandan prandarude bhasha swapnathinte thalla mattoru yaadharthyathinte thaanu avarude sneham nilavaanu pournami divasam adu kavinjolugunu mugalilekku nokkumbol avar kaanunnathu naam kettitte illatha ദേവതമാരെയാണ് അവർ ചുമൽ കുലുക്കുന്നതായി നമുക്ക് തോന്നുന്നത് അദൃശ്യമായ ചിറകുകൾ കുടയുമ്പോഴാണ് ഈച്ചകൾക്കും ആത്മാവുണ്ടെന്ന് അവർ കരുതുന്നു പുൽച്ചാടികളുടെ ദൈവം പച്ച നിറത്തിൽ നീണ്ട കാലുകളിൽ ചാടി നടക്കുന്നുവെന്നും ചിലപ്പോൾ അവർ വൃക്ഷങ്ങളിൽ നിന്ന് ചോര ഒലിക്കുന്നത് കാണുന്നു ചിലപ്പോൾ തെരുവിൽ നിന്ന് സിംഹങ്ങൾ അലറുന്നത് കാണുന്നു ചിലപ്പോൾ പൂച്ചയുടെ കണ്ണിൽ സ്വർഗം തിളങ്ങുന്നത് കാണുന്നു ഇക്കാര്യങ്ങളിൽ അവർ നമ്മെപ്പോലെ തന്നെ എന്നാൽ ഉറുമ്പുകൾ സംഘം ചേർന്ന് പാടുന്നത് അവർക്ക് മാത്രമേ കേൾക്കാനാവൂ അവർ വായുവിൽ വിരലോടിക്കുമ്പോൾ മധ്യധരണ്യാഴിയിലെ കൊടുങ്കാറ്റിനെ മെരുക്കിയെടുക്കുകയാണ് കാൽ അമർത്തി ചവിട്ടുമ്പോൾ ജപ്പാനിലെ ഒരു അഗ്നിപർവ്വതം പൊട്ടിത്തെറിക്കാതെ നോക്കുകയും ഭ്രാന്തന്മാരുടെ കാലം വേറൊന്നാണ് നമ്മുടെ ഒരു നൂറ്റാണ്ട് അവർക്കൊരു നിമിഷം മാത്രം ഇരുപത് ജോണ്ടി മതി അവർക്ക് ക്രിസ്തുവിലെത്താൻ 
ആറ് ഞുടി കൂടി ബുദ്ധനിലെത്താൻ ഒരു പകൽ കൊണ്ട് അവർ ആദിയിലെ വൻ വിസ്ഫോടനത്തിലെത്തുന്നു ഭൂമി തിളച്ചു മറിയുന്നത് കൊണ്ടാണ് അവർ എങ്ങുമിരിക്കാതെ നടന്നുകൊണ്ടേയിരിക്കുന്നത് ഭ്രാന്തന്മാർ നമ്മെപ്പോലെ ഭ്രാന്തന്മാരല്ല ഭ്രാന്തന്മാർ നമ്മെപ്പോലെ ഭ്രാന്തന്മാരല്ല So let us again uh, continue with the poem. Hope you have uh, got some kind of an understanding when I have uh, read out the Malayalam version of uh, the poem. Now uh, we'll begin with the first nine lines of the poem, The Mad. The mad have no caste or religion. They transcend gender, live outside ideologies. We do not deserve their innocence. Their language is not of dreams, but of another reality. Their love is moonlight. It overflows on the full moon day. So, uh, the poem begins with an analysis of uh, the mind of the madman. The poet says, The mad have no caste or religion. So the mad is not conscious of race or religion or gender or even they don't have a particular ideology. So they transcend gender, live outside ideologies. And uh, the ordinary human being we do not deserve the innocence of the madman their language is not of dreams but of another reality so it is not just dreams but they talk of another reality a real world of their own they their love is moonlight so it is so pure their love is so pure it is like moonlight and uh, their love overflows on uh, a full moon day now we continue with uh, the next uh, eight lines looking up they see gods we have never heard of they are shaking their wings when we fancy that they are shrugging their shoulders they hold that even flies have souls and the green god of grasshoppers leaps up on thin legs so uh, they see gods which we have never heard of so the poem the 10th line reads like this looking up they see gods we have never heard of they are shaking their wings when we fancy they are shrugging their shoulders so for us it might seem that uh, they are shrugging their shoulders but in reality they are shaking their wings so they are shaking their wings when we just think that they are shrugging their shoulders so they are trying to reach greater heights they hold that even flies have souls so to them they believe that even small flies they have souls and they could see a green god in the grasshopper now we continue with the uh, line 18 to 28 at times they see trees bleed 
hear lions roaring from the streets. At times, they watch heaven gleaming in a kitten's eyes, just as we do. But they alone can hear and sing in a chorus. While patting the air, they are taming a cyclone over the Mediterranean. With their heavy tread, they stop a volcano from erupting. So in line 18, when uh, he says, at times they see trees bleed. So here the poet is using a language to personify. So the mad also see the trees like us. But there is a difference. They see the trees bleeding. And here's the lions roaring from the streets. The poem reads like this. At times they see trees bleed, hear lions roaring from the streets. At times they watch heaven gleaming in a kitten's eyes, just as we do. So uh, when they watch a kitten, they watch heaven shining in the eyes of the kitten. So this is uh, something which we do experience when we see a kitten or see a kitten's eyes. But there is a difference when they listen to the ants and when they, when they see the ants. Right? But they alone can hear ants singing in a chorus. So the mad alone can hear the singing of the ants which an ordinary human being cannot. Uh, the mad people, they have an imagination that is surreal. So that is an experience beyond human fancy. Surrealism in literature can be defined as an artistic attempt to bridge together reality and imagination. So here, uh, the mad, they understand nature better than others. In the poem, we see an example. While patting the air, they are taming a cyclone over the Mediterranean. So while the poet here says that, okay, while patting the air, the mad, they are actually taming a cyclone over uh, the Mediterranean. And uh, it continues, with their heavy tread, they stop a volcano from erupting. So they try, the mad try to stop a volcano from erupting with their heavy tread. Tread means uh, their walk. So while walking, they prevent the volcano from erupting. So now we come to the last uh, lines from line 29 to 39. They have another measure of time. Our century is their second. 20 seconds and they reach Christ. Six more, they are with the Buddha. In a single day, they reach the big bang at the beginning. They go on walking restless for their earth is boiling still. The mad are not mad like us. The mad are not mad like us. Uh, the mad, they have uh, their own measure of time. For them, one century, so uh, uh, when you talk about uh, the mad people, right, they are uh, Calculation of time is different from the calculation of uh, the human being. So they have another measure of time. Our century is their second. So the measure of time for them is different from us, where a century for the normal human is a second for the mad. So based on this calculation, in 20 seconds time, they could reach Christ 
and in another six seconds they are with Buddha. So in a single day they reach the Big Bang at the beginning. So they go on walking restless because they know that the earth is boiling. So this is uh, the explanation that the poet gives for uh, the mad people walking restless. So they are walk walking restless because the earth is boiling. And uh, they know more about uh, the origin of universe, about life. And uh, we find here the poet ends the poem by saying that the mad are not really mad like the ordinary people. Right? The poem ends with the last two lines, very powerful lines. The mad are not mad like us. So thus the binary divide, the divide of uh, being mad and not being mad is very clearly brought by the poet K. Satchidanandan through the poem The Mad. The poet uh, is seen frozen to the feelings of uh, the mad man. So in the poem, we see the mad man is presented innocent in the beginning. Then the poet continues by telling his language is real. Not only his language, his love is real. It is real like the moonlight. Then he further tells that the mad see things that we don't actually see. There is a reference, uh, they see God. They also see souls of insects. They see the green god of grasshoppers. They are also uh, very sympathetic. We see how uh, the mad looks at the tree bleeding. The mad is also able to see extraordinary things. When we could see just uh, heaven in the eyes of uh, the ant, the madman also does it. But they are able to see ants singing in a chorus. They also do things extraordinary. For example, we see how they tame a cyclone how they stop volcano from erupting and towards the end we see that they have different measure for calculating time. In 20 seconds they reach Christ, another 6 seconds they could reach Buddha. So the human beings are not aware of uh, the changes humanity undergoes. But the mad are really able to do it. So there is a contrast between the mad and the so-called uh, human beings who are not mad in a general sense. And this human being okay, who is uh, supposed to be busy is busy in the world. And most of the time he acts mad. So the poet here actually makes a contrast between these two. He tells that the mad are innocent than the rest. They are not mad. So that's how the poet ends the poem by saying the mad are not mad like us. So uh, here I end my discussion on the poem The Mad written by K. Sachidanandan. I hope uh, I could throw some light on uh, this particular poem and uh, you could definitely do something more 
to add the beauty to this poem by adding your own comments and interpretations. So uh, thank you. Thank you very much for your listening. And uh, let's meet again with uh, another topic for discussion very soon. Thank you.